Glastonbury Festival prides itself on trying to reuse and recycle. For instance, hundreds of people are employed to collect plastic, cardboard and tin cans from the 1,000-acre site. Now, though, the festival is recycling hundreds of tonnes of old oak lock gates. The organiser, Michael Evis, was originally offered the wood by British Waterways as free fuel. But, as our Somerset correspondent David Woodland reports, he's found a far better use for it. They may be encrusted with freshwater mussels and seaweed, with an inch of rot to boot, but to canny Glastonbury festival organiser Michael Evis, these redundant lock gates represent a recycling opportunity too good to miss. He has a cunning plan to use them to build a soundproofed arena in the festival's circus fields, using lock gates from the Bridgewater and Taunton Canal, with others coming from the Kennet and Avon Canal in Wiltshire. Sound simply cannot go through them. So, so that we're, we're actually building a little arena at the moment, actually, which, which is called a bull ring. And well, we've got 16, which actually make an eight sided um, sort of theatre. It's a fantastic venue. And it's going to be the best thing of the farm this year, I tell you. It's a tricky job for the engineers. They're using a piece of plastic just a couple of millimetres thick to hold back the water over the next month. They've had to cut electricity off to several properties while the work is carried out. So a tight space, electricity, water, and quite a crowd of people watching in case anything goes wrong. <laughs> yeah, thanks for uh, bringing that up. I think um, we've got plenty of people on site today to try and manage everyone, including uh, our visitors and guests who are very interested in what's happening here. So uh, hopefully this will go on without a hitch. It was while Mr Evis was watching a TV programme that he had a eureka moment. The programme explained the best way to cut noise from the planned Birmingham to London rail line was to use wood. Every field at Glastonbury Festival has to comply with strict sound regulations and he realised lock gates could do the trick when it came to his planned new arena. The best thing was the timber fencing, a 12 foot high and 10 inches thick, which is more or less what the lock gates are. So that's where I got the idea from. Craftsmen at Worthy Farm have got to get their skates on. They've got four weeks before the bull ring will be host to mock bullfights and circus performers. But they've got form, they've done it before, when they built this bridge dedicated to the memory of Arabella Churchill, who made the circus fields what they are today. British Waterways' loss has been Glastonbury Festival's gain. It took 28 lock gates to make this bridge. They stripped away all the rotten wood and they've got themselves a solid oak structure that should last for decades. Meanwhile, the replacement work back at North Newton will take a little less time. But don't expect to take a boat through this lock before June the 24th. David Woodland in Somerset for the West Country tonight.